Hello there, lads, lasses, and all of life homes. The White Bob here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Now, we're in the mines, fighting Evelyn's little creatures. We've just taken on two bloaters. I'm going to call them bloaters. And we're trying to find Evelyn now. Huh? Oh. Grandma. What? Where the fuck are we? Are we... We're back in the house. Oh, that must be... That's Evelyn. And then there was a Mia doll as well. Oh, no. Are we going to see who took it's Mia? Gone. Welcome to the family, son. Oh, shit. Can we go back this way? No, it's all locked. Broken plates. E O O one. What? She's suddenly getting grey hair. Like she's aging very quickly. Well, because we haven't seen Mia as a real thing. She's just always been... Am I, am, I, am I getting this right? Or am I not... We've never seen Mia as an actual girl. She's always been a phantom. A hallucination. Grandma... Is the... Original... I don't want to miss out. Don't open the door, Grandma. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Let's try the phone. I don't think Zoe's going to pick up. No. Sorry, Zoe. Yeah, I left Zoe, didn't I? Oh no. Hello. Yeah, she's just a phantom. Yeah, I remember this very well. Can I have a look in here first? Dun dun dun. Nothing there. Yeah, I know you're still there, but I just want to look around first. I could have opened that door. Oh, that is genius. I've always thought Grandma was part of the... Oh, shit. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? Am I infected now? No, this is part of the infection. The hallucinations. She's not actually there. I'm going in here. This is all changed. Fuse is still there. Piano. TV's gone. The lever's still there, but you can't get in there anymore. Yeah, I'm coming. <gasps> Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, Mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Okay. It's mommy's turn to kill you. That child is creepy. Very, very creepy. Now I... Now I've got a choice. I'll try to upstairs. Yeah, 
the save's gone. Do I go further up? I'll try, I'll try the front door. Well, I'm guessing that's where, because that's where it ended on the first time. I'll go this way. I don't think there's going to be anything here. Yeah, you can't ch touch anything. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, this is all locked. So, they only brought me this way to hurt me. Oh, <gasps> shitty now. That's a big doll. I'm wasting all my good ammo here. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Oh. Oh. oh shit. Oh. Oh, she's levitating. She's normal. Can't go through there. Let's get the shotgun out. <laughs> Trusty shotgun. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we'll try this way. time oh The grandma. Why does everyone hate me? Don't jump at me. Oh no. Get out now. Oh, fuck. Get the eyes. is definitely Ouroboros. Oh, I can't 
fuck. Whoa. No, 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 no. Reload. Oh, shit. Oh. Am I even doing anything right here? Grab all the hit, grab all the come on Ethan, you come this far. Oh, I didn't even see you then. Oh no. I just landed a fan me. Oh, I'm reloaded. Yeah, it's a good job that you're waiting for me there. <laughs> Get the gun, get the gun. Use it. Use it. Albert. Hello. Play time for Oh, okay. This is hiding. I can't see it. There you go. She's solidifying. She's dead. She's dead. She's solidifying. Oh. Ethan? You motherfucking survived. <laughs> Who's in the helicopter then? Cut out herbs at front. I know them herbs. I'm Redfield. I'm glad we found Redfield? You. The fuck took you guys so long? Redfield? As in. Well, we've seen notes about. The Raccoon City. Ethan? Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? It's got an umbrella logo. They say that when one door closes, another opens. That had the umbrella logo. Well. A door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Yeah, look. Umbrella you know, Corporation. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. Now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. <gasps> well. Fuck me sideways. Is it gonna be a... Cutscene? Is this just go 
Yeah, it's just the... Alright, let's just turn that down a bit more. Anyway, the review of the game. Well, the first half. Just before the, before the Lucas's bit. It was brilliant. It had the right amount of horror, sneaking, but with that sense of you've got something to defend yourself with, which was it's great in what I want in a horror game, should I say. Uh, it's not like the Outlast situation. It's not like the PT situation. PT was more mysterious, and it was just uh, more of a mindfuck, really. This actually had a plot. It had a story. It had a reason why you had a defense. It reasons why you had pistols and stuff like that, so it made a good sense of it. Whether it fits in the whole Resident Evil, um, at the moment, I'd say no. But it does leave doors for sequels. And them sequels might explore on it much more, and then you might come back to this game of like, oh my god, it does make it makes it more relevant into the Resident Evil series. They've, done, they've definitely not gone for a reboot, have they? So it's definitely in the whole Resident Evil world, because there was memos and stories about the Raccoon City incident so yeah that is and I can see why most uh, reviewers of this game has been giving it 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 I'd, I'd give it a solid 8 <laughs> the only bits I would um, give it was the second half the second half, the ship was brilliant uh, but again it became the. there was like we've got to fit some more shooting aspects in this man just to get, because there's some people out there who just don't like horror games at all, and and I can see why they might have been put off this game because it might it was just solely horror. But I'm guessing for the second half to put them shooter aspects in, they could claw some purchasers back and say, look, look, it's not all horror. You can still shoot and defend yourself. Oh, hello, Evelyn. Have we got another cutscene? No, it's just more direction. But anyway, definitely in the step in the right direction. Definitely in a step in the right direction. There was a few things uh, as well on the items, like the separating agent. Why? That you had unlimited space in your green box. Uh, I don't know why you would sort of want to destroy bullets for a chem chem pack. I don't. I don't understand why. Maybe in the harder level a uh, harder difficulty maybe in beast mode I think it's called or something like beast mode um, but again I don't see any reason for that that could be explored a bit further the herbs the mixing it the mixing it all with the chem fluid mixing everything with the chem fluid mixing it with a strong chem fluid that could have been reworked a bit they could have kept it like um, like the old style what was wrong with just having a green herb uh, and then mixing it with another herb to make it more powerful there was nothing wrong with that. That could have easily been done in this game. Instead of mixing it with the chem fluids. But anyway. Uh, they're little minor points. I'd give this a solid 8 out of 10. Step in the right direction. Story was good. Characters. Ethan was a bit... He, at the start he was a bit slow. I didn't really grasp him. But the more he carried on. The more you knew about Mia. The more you felt for Ethan. And the more you wanted to go with, like, Ethan. Oh, I'm playing as Ethan again. Yes. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave it as that. A good solid 8 out of 10. So, I have been the Almighty Blob. This has been Resident Evil 7. Thank you all very much for watching. Peace and love. And as always, don't do anything I won't do. Bye.